are watching subtropical Alberto, and of course, people are prepping for the nasty weather it will eventually bring. But you can see these scenes from Friday, where we actually got in some beach weather along the coast of Alabama and Florida as well. So don't forget the sunscreen if you're still making your way down for the holiday weekend. But unfortunately, the conditions will be deteriorating as we go through the next couple of days. In fact, strong wording from the National Hurricane Center warning of life-threatening rip currents generated by subtropical storm Alberto. The risk of rip currents will be ramping up along the Gulf Coast this weekend. Here to talk about how to stay safe is Wyatt Werneth from the American Lifeguard Association. Good morning to you, Wyatt. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. It's awesome to be here. It's a wonderful Memorial Day start out here on the beach. It looks great there at Cocoa Beach so far anyway, but even on the East Coast, we are concerned about rip currents for some parts of the coastline. So first and foremost, how do you avoid even getting caught in a rip current? Well, you know, I'm going to say it, uh, always swim near a lifeguard. That's the best way. If you go to a beach where there's a lifeguard, they're going to have uh, flags up. Today we'll be flying a red flag, and that means that there are strong conditions for rip currents and be very careful. So that's our number one reason um, to swim near a lifeguard. They're going to tell you when and not to go in the water. And, yeah, only attend those beaches where there is a lifeguard, right? But say you do get caught in a rip current, what then? What do you do? Well, if you get caught in the rip current, uh, the very most important thing to do is to stay calm. If you can stay calm and wait for some help on the beach and then swim parallel, either left or right, away from the current, you can make your way back. But panic's what gets everyone. Yeah, you just got to try not to panic, but easier said than done, right? I know you guys perform a lot of rescues when it comes to rip currents, but when you're, like, sitting up in the chair, can you actually spot a rip current? What do you look for? Well, for someone who's trained, you can actually come to the beach and identify one, identify one right away. But it takes a, a little knowing what to look for. We actually have a beach here that's been um, had some new sand put on it. We call it beach restoration. And it causes these little dips, little whoop you doos Have you ever been sitting on the beach and the water comes surging up and gets you wet, but the people beside you are not? Well, that's a channel where a rip is. So that's one real easy way. And rip currents aren't the only hazard we should be watching out for this holiday weekend, right? What else should beachgoers be aware of? Well, keep your eyes on the weather channel because we got some bad weather in the forecast, absolutely. Uh, but today we have sun. It's beautiful out, so always want to bring sunblock. And we all also warn people about these expansive beaches that we have now, up to 50 yards. Have some, uh, some, some foot protection. Wear sandals because this sand gets really hot. And, you know, the lightning, that's a threat, too. Um, Wyatt, I'm just curious. I know, you know, people have different opinions about, you know, when you see the lightning or hear the thunder, when people should get out of the water and safely into a shelter. What's your take on that? Well, it's one of those things, you know, it's like our number one danger here in Florida. Uh, but, again, if you're near a lifeguard tower, they're going to shut down the beach. We have a, a count system. When we see, see the flash, we count, and every three seconds is a, a mile. So we are every five seconds, I'm sorry, or is a mile. So we want to make sure within that three mile parameter, we get everybody off the beach and cleared out in enough time because sometimes lightning strikes and you can't even tell. So you just have to watch the lifeguards. Yeah, lightning and strike well ahead of a storm or even behind a storm when it's not even raining anymore. Uh, Wyatt, thanks so much. Beautiful shot there from Cocoa Beach. Might making me jealous. I wish I was there. Another beautiful spot, Pensacola Beach, where Reynolds is right now, kind of awaiting the, the overall hazards from this subtropical storm, Reynolds. But I know today it looks like a great start to the holiday weekend so far. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, people are just coming out here 